So today, as we didn't fill a stream last Tuesday because we were at uh, at games first, and we'll probably t discuss that more uh, next Tuesday when uh, Arash is here. Ah, for tutorial, yeah, but I like it. It's I think it's really uh, clean. Corgi, everybody's showing up. What the hell? Um, game maker. There we go. Google. Game Maker. Google. What's up, Habibis? Welcome. Um, so today, I'm going to continue developing this, but we can discuss anything you guys want. If you have a project, if you need help, if something, we can talk about it. Uh, I'll check. I can't even remember what we did last time. I think last time, uh, we actually... Uh, I think we added uh, blood particles or something. As you can see, it's a very simple game for those who are new. So you can, uh, I think we added blood particles, yeah. Brutal. <laughs> uh. We have respawning, we have a score. You can uh, bounce the bo body parts on your head. We had uh, despawning of a... Uh, So, uh, what should we do? What should we do? And uh, remember guys, if you have any games, I can always take a look at them too. Or we can take a look at them on Tuesday when Arash is here. We can play them together uh, and check them out and uh, give feedback or analyze and break them into the, the, um, the elements and fundamentals of that game like we went through in one of the two devs on a couch. Um, we might at some point make like a pre-film video that's not streamed where we would go through each step how to, um, how to analyze a game. Did I jump actually up there? I think we fixed the wall jumping also. Or not wall jumping, but that bug. We squashed a lot of small bugs here. The only problem now is the level design sucks. <laughs> Maybe I'll do some work on the level. Um, so yeah, uh, for those who don't know, this is a game maker. Yeah, uh, we're prob I'm gonna probably make during this weekend like a form, form where you could submit your games, like put it underneath the stream, and then you could just, you know, submit it and we can like install it on our computer before we start. Oh. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's now on PC. But uh, Calm, do you want us to play when Narash is here? I can download it now. But um, do you want it to play then instead of uh, now? Because now it's just me, you know? You're missing half the Habibis. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if... I kind of centered these pieces. I wonder if I should have... Oop. We're not four-player game yet. Wonder if I should have made them um, not centered. That's another thing. So it would look better. When we go to sprites, we go to blocks, grass block, and just leave it at zero, zero. Let's see what happens. Well, I know what happens, happens, but. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll, we'll definitely play it uh, now that it's a uh, Windows version, we can play against each other. Oh yeah, the 1080. Holy shit, that sounds cool. I have to start saving up money. <laughs> it's really expensive. What's the price of that thing? Crazy. I think it's like, uh, like the, he's talking probably about the NVIDIA 1080, right? It's like faster than the Titan. The previous uh, generation. Three days ago. Let's look at it. This is awesome. Oh, yes. Gaming perfected. So did you just drop May 27th? 10th. 1080s. 599. <laughs> oh. Damn it. <laughs> I think I have to get a, th like a, 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 
second day job to be afford be able to afford that. Are you gonna get that, Corgi? Holy shit. I don't wanna watch that because it's gonna have like copyright and music. Holy shit. Imagine this game, like this 2D game. Um run on a 1080. It would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. The 1080s actually are really good. Like even if you have a 980, they're better than like 1070. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's like that graphics card is crazy. It has like all kinds of I thought it had some audio, like 3D audio. Yeah, the, the funny thing is, do, do you know how the, um, the um, there's a huge difference between a 770, 780, or a 970, and a 980. Uh, actually, for example, uh, Arash has a 680. So he has a 680, but that's faster than a uh, 950 or 960. Yeah, 1080 is better than 980, of course. I think it was like astoundingly much faster. It's much, much faster. 1080 is crazy. They, I think they like said something. Where was it? Let's look at it. Uh, Nvidia 1080 versus 980. So this is the, this is the series. This is the um, uh, release, not year, but this is like how new it is. So next one will be 11, 12, but this is the series, the, this number, which means that if you have like, a, you know, let's say a, uh, I have, for example, uh, 970. So if I have a 970, it's barely faster than like a 680 or something. Even if it's several generations old from this, uh, the eight, because it's an eight class uh, graphics card, it's much, much faster. So let's look at 1080 versus 980. Let's put Nvidia there too. So we and it's of course uh, for VR. Uh, they're pushing it. Uh, this is bad. I don't understand anything there. PC gamer. That sounds probably reliable. 8 gigs of RAM. This is basically a computer. They could just have a faster than 980 SLI. Yeah, that's what they said. That's what I remember. This is faster than two 980s with an SLI bridge. <laughs> so even if you have two 980s. <laughs> but even if you have a, the titanium, like... 980 is fast, but then there is the NVIDIA Titanium. This is faster than the Titanium, and the Titanium is over $1,000. It's crazy. Yeah. Ah, uh, drool, drool, drool. Oh, uh, yeah. If you can ever afford to buy an 8 class, not a 7 class, or 80 class or whatever you want to say, you should do it. You'll be good for like three, five, three to five years. Yeah, 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 yeah. TI is not Titania. Titan, sorry. TI is just, uh, I mean, the, um, isn't Titanium? Titan X. Of course, they're going to come out with this the next edition. Anyway, yeah, two 1080s with the SLI. Anyway, this is a lot of text. Who's going to watch this? Anyway, uh, I can't afford that. <laughs> I wish I could. Not that I need it. It's just geekery. So we have this game. I'll... I think I'm gonna fix this level, but we can talk about anything. We can talk about titaniums, we can, uh... Or if I just make like a simple kind of multiplayer default level. 
there's a lot of them on each other. So, uh, so, what games are you guys excited about? I'm excited about Overwatch, for example. It looks really cool with all those classes. Uh, what else am I excited about? There's not actually that many games now. So I want to try out the Quantum Break from Remedy, but um, yeah, you have to. Corgi, if you, you buy one, oh my god! But you're you're going. You said I think you said you go for uh, 1070, yeah. But 1070 will last you a life, not a lifetime. It will last you for a long time. But there is a huge difference, but in both price and uh, efficiency. So, um, one of the rules when you create uh, PvP maps is that symmetry is a uh, thing. So, uh, we will make this symmetrical. Because that's also for fair balance. If you look at like StarCraft, everything is symmetrical. Because instantly you make it asymmetrical, you have a balance, balance issue. Actually, one thing I want to add here is wrapping. Like, basically, so if you fall down here, you would drop down here. That way you can kind of not get stuck in this box. Sorry, guys, I have the window open. It's really warm here in Finland. In Finland, in the north. Global warming, man. Um, ah, yeah, new, new Doom is coming out. I haven't even looked at it. Yeah, it's like TF2, but it, it does have some new classes and some shit, but yes, of course. But TF2 was awesome. I remember even when it first versions came out a hundred years ago, like the first Team Fortress, it was really good. But yeah, but it seems like a lot of people are still excited about Overwatch. I'm still excited about Minecraft, so. Used to uh, play that a lot. Not recently. Hard to find good servers where there's nice people. Uh, sorry, objects. Check collidable, no blocks. Grass block. Grass block. We should really not have this ugly graphics. This is like worse than Minecraft. Make uh, better uh, files. Actually, these are now outside the grid. So I guess when you run the game, it'll. Won't it be outside the... Uh, the whole thing? It is... On a dirt block. I don't want grass in the... At some point we should also make a kind of um, procedurally generated map. I have to look at the new Doom. What, what do they have? What's new in the new Doom? Is it nothing new or is it just like um, an um, amped up version? Like the last Doom that they made wasn't that good. That's why I'm not so excited anymore. They kind of lose, I lost faith. In... Oh, let's see, Google. Doom. Probably you just find some of this. Show off their new graphics card. Ah, uh, it's a stunt to show all the visual effects. They lost kind of the humor in it. In Doom, at some point. Or they have it, but it's kind of not the same. And maybe this one has it. Hmm. Huh. Friday the 13th. That's a really good date for releasing games. That's tomorrow, right? Not today. Yeah, so tonight, 12 a.m., so basically, first 30 minutes, I'll watch. That's too long. Um, maybe I should put a platform here in a bit, middle, too. Like this. Again, very, like, classical level design. This works. Let's go here. I guess this is now also wrong. 
course, these should actually... Let's just delete the... We need to make them uh, ones with grass on top. So it's because... Oh! Crap. Um, launch at 12 a.m. Yeah, well, 12 a.m. is midnight, so basically it's Friday the 13th. Oh, man. But yeah, but it looks cool. Damn it. Oh, I can just do delete all the several. But yeah, we should uh, also would like to look at shaders today, but I think I need to research them a bit more how they work here. It is the same language, the um, GL's own GLS, GL, GS, whatever it's called. But um, I still think I don't want to waste time, a lot of time on uh, uh, looking at it. Shaders is what makes game look good except art but once you have the art in the, it carries the game like 20 percent it's what makes it look a lot of times also more professional mm. of course this is oversimplified now there shouldn't be outside the scene so let's try it oh opens it in the wrong window Ah. That jump needs to be also fixed. See. I know what, what's, what needs to be done. Then we had uh, the throwing star, which doesn't do any damage. Fix. I think it's because it's basically deleting it before it gets to the guy. Uh, with the collision. Um, actually, we removed collision, I think. Um, this is not symmetrical. Bit to this here. Let me just make it so there's like a hole here. Anyway, I think that's good enough. That's maybe we just put it the classical way. Is the classical level. <laughs> Hi, Ahi. Welcome. We're developing a game. It's a platformer and talking about the new 1080 that's coming out soon in, in uh, what was it, 27th, 28th? Um, so, uh, okay. We got the basics now. So, what we, I wanted to do was also is add the thing that also, for example, um, Whoops. So like uh, what uh what's it called? Um, Tower Falls has that when you go it loops you through. So when you for example it won't do it now, of course. Uh, so if I now drop down here I should appear up top, not just disappear. So it's just a script that says that when you walk off screen. If it's on the horizontal, just flip it over. It should, though, move it. Or, actually, there are, I think there's a wrapping. Let's look at that fast. Google to the rescue. Me? No, I'm from Finland. Um, I have a Swedish name, but I'm Finnish. Uh... But I do understand German some, but I am not going to speak any German. I'll butcher the language. Like I said before, I've said that... Um, oh, what am I doing? Um, Google. Uh, that uh, I know quite well German. Okay, first off, it's very close to Swedish. It has similarities because both are Germanic languages. And uh, also uh, the um, German... Uh, I watched RTL, so the people from Germany knows what that is. Uh, it's a German, uh, German um, TV channel, and uh, RTL. Uh, I watched it because we had uh, it was on satellite, and um, 
it, it always had like children's programs. So when I was young, I was just watching that because they had cartoons. The Finnish uh, TV channels just showed crap, like news or something. I don't know. Crap, anyway. So what were we going to make? A uh, Game Maker um, Crap Around Room. Maybe that's the move wrap. That. Here we go. We'll wrap around this. It's the left room. Apply the margin outside. Sure. And when you instance travel outside the margin again, we'll automatically wrap around the room. Note that this is must have speed. Have a speed. Oh shit, we're not using speed. Well, let's try it. Who cares? Um, no. Uh, so let's just go uh, in. Uh, where do we have our code? Our tail is bad now. <laughs> I didn't say that it's the best channel ever, but. And then I saw so many movies in German and they, you know, you dub or I don't know if you're from Germany, but they dub everything. So. There's so many movies I've seen in German. I have no clue what their English names are or who the, you know, character names are. I just know the movies. So I'll sometimes start watching a movie and be like, I've seen this in German. <laughs> Very weird. Um, so, uh, collisions. What would it be? Basically anything that moves should wrap. So maybe we put it under here. Oh, here's our crap code. This should be true, vertical true, let's put margin zero. I think you have to have a speed and I think we're not using direction as speed. We are using it on the shuriken so we can try it on that. Oh, it is working. Cool, oh, that was easy. This is the difference between Game Maker and Unity. Let's say I made this with Unity. Uh, Yeah, I, I would like to go to Germany too. I've been once to Berlin and it, I would say Berlin as a city wasn't really for me, mostly because I couldn't find wireless hotspots anywhere. I basically had to go to a Starbucks or something, like an American chain of restaurants to get like some internet. And of course the hotel would have internet, but <laughs> I mean, uh, come on, <laughs> we can't just... Uh, can't just uh, expect me to pay. Or oh, the, the price was like crazy. Yeah, in Unity, the problem with Unity is it's actually really hard to do a wrapping because here I think, I don't know actually, can you be halfway through? Let's make a horizontal gap. So I want to see if this is working like I want it to. Before I talk shit and say like, oh, Unity is so Unity is awesome engine. I used work for there like five, six years already. So, so, oh, it doesn't do it. It's teleporting the object. Oh, good enough anyway for us. But the hardest thing actually to do is, let's say now, uh, where I'm now standing, he would also appear on the other side of the screen, so he would be both here and on the other side. Basically, in Unity, what you have to do is uh, either use camera trickery or like have multiple cameras and trick it that way, and then draw and then just kind of enable and kind of difficult. And then the other thing that you can do is um, duplicate the object, and then you actually have two of the same object, and you delete one once it's not needed anymore. Um, you don't have to use triggers. You can also just have the if it walks outside of the camera like you can take the camera position um, and then calculate that is it uh, inside of your field of view for the camera and if it isn't you can also figure out is it horizontal or vertical but I mean it's still not as easy as writing like here I put one line of code in and now it's working so <laughs> and this is very uh, sorry Ahi uh, I don't mean to insult, like, the, the, the city was really nice, I had some really good kebab there, 
And uh, I was only there for like four or five days, so what the hell do I know? But uh, I couldn't find Wi-Fi hotspots. That's the that's the. What the hell did I do here? It's like the 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 block is like retarded. Who designed this level? He's fired. You're fired. Well, oh, that's OBS, not Game Maker. Oops, sorry guys. <laughs> Confusion. Where did it go? Unity is not difficult. It's diff it's more um, it's not optimized for 2D, let's say it like that. I didn't want to run the game. I wanted to check what the hell was that? Oh, I scaled this. This. Um, of course, you can get a bad kebab too if you're not careful. And you also had the thing I like in Japan. I was to one restaurant where, um, no, wait, I don't want that. Uh, where you can uh, order, um, where you can order, um, Sushi, like on a conveyor belt. Well, that was kind of cool. I've had it in Japan too. I just like it. What I eat. Play by the plate. Um, but Unity, yeah. Unity, of course, it's, there's no problem with that. Um, it's just a bit slower to prototype in. And most probably, if I would make a game and uh, like, um, like a bit bigger or physics-based game, I would make it still in Unity. It would be cool to actually take this game and remake it in Unity and see if uh, uh, how long would it take uh, for me to make versus this. The advantage I have in Unity is that uh, I uh, know Unity much better, but um, the maybe this advantage in Unity, or and then the other advantage is that now I'm kind of figuring out what I want to put features. I haven't really any design document. Uh, and in Unity, uh, when I would code it in Unity, I would already know every feature that comes in. So I would have to factor that in. Kind of hard to compare. Also, the kind of cool thing in, um, if you're a programmer, holy shit, that's floating. The collider is too big. So the, the um, nice thing in Game Maker, actually, even if the C Sharp has better syntax, for sure, um, versus uh, Game Maker. Game Maker actually forces you to code almost every part, except if you use the events, of course. But I mean, if you're coding, you have to code everything. So you, of course, have a physics system here, but I don't know if it's any good. You can tell me. But yeah, plus in the end, once you know one engine, you basically, same concept. Hmm. Doesn't look. Nice. What about my character then? Uh, even an idol. Weird. Maybe it was some kind of bug. Sprite system. Yeah, the sprite system. I like it. <laughs> I don't think the sprite system is anything special. I just like that it's object based. like colliding a bit above the head. The other parts do? Crap. Not as badly. Um, yeah, I don't like the Mechanim 2D thing, um, animation, state controller. Um, I almost always, when I make a 2D game, it's much easier to just uh, create your own system than to use that. Because usually I don't want to like, it, the shitty thing is to how to, um, like, if I have one character and I was, just want to reuse a lot of animation or uh, code, uh, state, like the state machine, it's not that easy to reuse. Oh, look. Game crashed. Interesting. Look. Hope the stream didn't crash. I think it's still there. Cool. But yeah. I think in engines, it's never about what's better or what's worse. It's 
you are and uh, what you're doing, not what engine you make it in. A good coder says, like, I don't care what uh, engine it is in. See if it still crashes. I do so. Um, yeah, a good coder doesn't care about the engine because a good coder can code anything in any engine. Try to push these. Because everything's using the dry code, all, all the things have been applied throughout the thing. So, um, we should also fix that bug with the shuriken. No point in having a shuriken that doesn't do anything. Um, I put it, I think, under weapon damageable. Let's look at the object itself. The thing is, this is not an object-oriented program, um, even if it does have objects, by the way. Of course, argued to, of course, be an opinion to me, but not. I removed the collision. That's damageable. Instant. Maybe this should be, um, what's actually moving it? I think it's uh, go here. We just throw over vertical speed. I think if we just do try it with plus oh horizontal speed. I'm a bit using long variable names just so everybody knows what they are. See what happens now. I don't even know if I changed the right code. Now you can still throw these. They're a bit lazy. Nope. 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 Damageable. I rename the character. I rename the character. Object character. Ninja. Maybe that's why it stopped working. Maybe I shouldn't even add that. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, my little friend. There we go. That's the proper response to a shuriken. Okay, now it seems to work. It was just the, the rename. I don't know if I need this, actually. It would be nicer if it's actually hitting it. Try it again. So, uh, what are you guys working on? Are you, how many of you are programmers? How many of you are artists? How many of you are both? Oh, look. The score's not going up. If I punch this guy, then it is. So in the attack script, it is increasing the score, but it's actually not doing it. Attack script. Oh, oh, oh. Basically the same script. Ooh. Basically, this should be dry. This would need, uh... Oh, you're a web programmer and designer. Um, what web language do you use? PHP, Go, Java, JavaScript? Um, do you do backend, frontend, both? Node? Well, that's JavaScript. Basically, it is. Um, I've done a lot of web stuff too. Um, I'm trying to think that if instant is not set, then then it requires a damage. Or what if you do it like this? Take just this place. This can still exist. Create here a. You had this damageable.
kind of stupid the bull because you usually use that for inheritance. Yeah, a lot of people still do PHP. Um, kind of still the norm, but I think JavaScript and uh, and the, the other are really gaining grounds now. Do you work at a company? Oh, only a bit. Okay, so it's more front end, like more HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Okay. Cool. Do you work? Do you use some kind of JavaScript framework? Are you using like um, Angular or React, or are you just writing everything from scratch? Um, let's see. So I want to make something, but I don't want to. Let's create a script. Do damage. We'll have this. Then inst, var inst will be argument zero. Var damage will be argument one. So for the people who don't use game maker, basically the arguments are the um, things you, oh, there's a, uh, doesn't really require an object, whatever you want to call it. Um, these are like the, the, um, the argument one and two that comes with the function. This kind of doesn't have proper function. Does, GameMaker doesn't have proper anything. They have their own language. It's totally its own. But hey, it works quite okay. You would have to hear. Damageable. Damage, sorry. Instance. And damage. Now I don't remember if the shuriken has a damage, so let's just go and add in it throwable. Damage is one. One damage. And then of course, uh, just to see everything works, add it to this script too. All the scripts become shorter, programmers are happy. But yeah, I've done a lot of web um, from Oh crap, I copy pasted one. Oh, the parentheses was actually indenting problem. Uh, I did a lot of web stuff I've done and even still am like PHP, JavaScript. Oh, you learn on your own. Freelancers, uh, like substandish, um, I guess means, um, on your own, so I guess freelancer. Freelancer is the proper name. No. Oh. Shuriken. Um. Yeah. What was I saying? I was just saying. Yeah. I, I worked in. Um. I read that error message. I worked in Golang, JavaScript, uh, PHP, very little Python, be nicer, not R Ruby, I don't know that well, but I do know Active Record and stuff like that, so I have always worked in, a... well, notice, um, you should, if you're more affronted, look at Angular, um, so um, if you want to do more front end stuff, I would definitely, the things I like right now, and there's of course, this changes every week. Angular, I think I've shown that before. Used to be AngularJS. Like Node is more for backend. So if you want to do replace PHP. Oh, AngularJS. Want to go there. It's the same thing, it's just a new version. Oh. Not, not, not org. Whoop. I want the, damn it, Angular 2, Angular.io, here, you can also make mobile, hey Sanch, welcome, yo, hey, <laughs> uh, yeah, we were just talking, oh, he's uh, looking at web, and I'm also a lot of web experience, yeah, you should look into this, this is really nice, really nice for a front-end developer, and then, uh, Angular Material, which is their uh, Google's material package. Like they have really nice, if you look at the demos, um, 
like pre-made uh, components, whatever dialogues, whatever you want. It's a bit like Bootstrap, but uh, I would say Bootstrap forces more their stuff down your throat than it does. No, oh, maybe that's not true. Yeah, Angular, that's what I like, and React is not bad either. So if you, uh, it's Facebook's user interface thing. I don't like this though, it's so messy looking. It reminds me of a kind of old school flash or something. But yeah, um, back to our game. Um, I was gonna try if I uh, can actually earn. Let's look at the error this time. So unknown variable, I'm not, I'm just not set getting it. Do damage line A. Eight. Oh, other index. Yeah, you won't get that. So it needs to also return the index then. Our index is going to be argument. So first we add the. Maybe we just do. Two. I should actually return who and who is attacking who. Sancho, uh, I'm a bit down from when it comes to web development. It is a bit too much and too many right now. Install Node.js pool on framework with many stuff between same Rails page cleanup mess. Yeah. One thing I do these days, I um, micro uh, services. So a lot of people, just like in games, like to create frameworks and that sucks balls. Um, pardon my English or French or whatever. Um, and then they create this kind of system that's supposed to do everything. What instead they should just do is create everything in APIs and REST, like create it and then create it so that everything is its own thing. Like if you want something that, you know, handles um, login, that's its own server and stuff like that. And then... Um, but uh, if I would recommend any language right now, is Golang by Google. Uh, it handles really nicely all that stuff that is very confusing. Node.js um, is also cool. It has much more support, but Golang has better um, performance, easier syntax, easier to use. It reminds a bit of Python for the people who've done that for longer. Now I need to give here the index. Yes. Here. I think I put it on it. Should maybe work. It's a bit like the game engine war. You know, who what game engine is the best? Oh. I think it's is index not it didn't go red. I think. Other dot index. Index. But yeah. It is a natural for Python, but I would say um, it has really good practices, like, which, and uh, it actually helps you kind of not entangle yourself into a mess of crap. A bit like Python also does. Like, Node, the problem is, you'll, you'll start with Node, You'll install 600 packages, and then one year goes by, and then there's every package is updated, changed everything how it works, and then you're screwed, and you can't even update the packages. I'm not saying Go, you know, you can have the same problem with Go too, but I think it's less likely because they kind of try to make you, force you to thinking microservices almost. Not force you. You can't create a monolith. I think that's the biggest thing. It's not... Are you job? Are you gonna program JavaScript? Are you gonna is create microservice? Yeah. Well, you won't like this either, then. <laughs> the game maker. Um. 
Well, the, we talked a bit about the 1080 that's running on Pascal, right? I think in Golang you can just do yes, regular equals to. Can't you? I can't remember. Here you can see facts. There's some other things that I find more confusing. Document. Started. Hello world. Where is the? Thing started, but where is the? Um, group go. Nope, it's not that one. How to write go? There's some other things that are much more confusing in it. Um, yeah, it does do that, yeah. The, the thing I first, when I started, was uh, actually not... Um, I don't really care how you say the equals, but uh, you do... Um, where is it? Using. Language. <laughs> yeah, if you couldn't get it to work, yeah. Yeah. I didn't have a problem. I got it working instantly. But I've been messing around with so much stuff that I think Go was for me easy. Node is more like really getting a basic setup. Like if you want to do something, it takes time. So, um,. It says still that I think the index is not set the subject can index not set. Interesting. Be available here. Also it's nice in Go you can target different um you can also make a desktop app or target different environments. Um, ba -ba 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 -um, damageable. Yeah, you guys should try something to stream in code. It's sometimes very hard to be like, oh, what was I doing in code? What was I talking about? Yeah, jumping ninjas. We have all kinds of stuff. We've added, uh, already today we added wrapping. We added, uh, we added all kinds of stuff to this game. Today we added this wrapping, so we have wrapping, so you can fall through. We remade the level. You can actually kill someone. Oh, there it is. Oh. Of course, the shuriken doesn't know who its owner is. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when you throw it, it actually needs to set a player index. It knows who owns that shuriken. You know who kills who, of course. Why didn't you guys tell me this earlier? Damn you guys. Player in the zero. Uh, Colin's saying, I don't like that I can't find out what I want for tiles as ground. You don't, what do you mean? You don't, uh, you don't know how they should look or uh, what they should be or... Uh, What's up? Plan a bit further. Player index here. So when you throw it, which you do somewhere here, throw, you have to put here player index is other dot index. That way we pass it through. Boom. Old errors. Pull over the screen. What the hell? Oh yeah, I I don't have. How did it go through the whole level? Oh, other indexes. What? That do damage. Set it now when I threw it. Player index. The other index. So who is controlling it? 
player index. We also initiate it here. Arash, nope. Arash is not here. Yeah, I can take a look at some other uh, uh, platforming games and uh, see what we can steal from them. I mean, borrow. I mean, uh, get new ideas. Um, that's not a bad idea. No, no, no. Today it's just me, and Monday it's only Arash. And then on Tuesday we're both here. Um, but I, uh, so he does art on Mondays, and I do programming and some art on, uh, on uh, Thursdays, and then on Tuesdays, we're both here. Yeah, he's uh, eating sushi, I think, in a restaurant right now. Player index. I think it's all capitalized the same. It's all named the same. Is it in the throw? Here we have the same. Other.index. And then we have... Uh, here we pass through the index. Damage play. Hmm. Why wouldn't it be set? Bar index is here. Hope this other refers now to this. It doesn't complain about the damage, so. Fine, this indenting is terrible. I hate it. I hate you, indent. That's another thing, game maker. Sometimes the indenting. Ah, oh, Rash is here. Uh, I think he sh jammed the sushi up his. No, wait. <laughs> Arash, come and fix my code right now. But yeah, we can uh, change the game to whatever. I'm just playing around with this game and learning game maker at the same time. Unknown variable, not set before. It is referring to index, probably. Or the global scores, which, but I doubt that. So, uh, this debug show. Debug. And also do it here, see if it's that. Zero, one, two. Whoop. Whatever, doesn't need to be. Sorry, was buying a house, eating sushi, yeah. You always do those things together. You never do it uh, separately. You should buy a house. That's how you know you don't have a fish problem at your house. Control A, backspace save. <laughs> yeah, format C. Round tiles. And one, one. Doesn't like it as being other. Why does it accept damage? Hmm. Because we need to know who did this. Oh yeah, I looked at that already. I think he probably had both. Probably it was a buffet, I'm guessing. Yeah, I don't know if this likes 
this is like, of course you need to zoom out, this is a bit big, but. I think this is okay. I mean, it depends on what the rest of the game, of course, looks like. If that's highly, like, if it's flat, this should be flat. If you add, like, a lot of gradients, it's not going to fit in the games. Yeah, I like that. It's very clear. Um, sometimes simple is better. So, uh, other index doesn't like it. Instance is fine. Zero, one, two. Big script that does it, it does have player index. Yeah, for what I should then. This is not gonna work. Character. So here it does work. I do this, it does work. Try it again. Let's go punch him. You should use the method uh, Raj has shown you. Uh, you should use the method Arash showed. Um, just go to Pinterest or some other, like you can even use Google. Here it works. I get a score. When I throw a shuriken, it crashes. Hmm. So, you should use the Arash method. I can show it fast. I don't have a Pinterest account, but I'll use Google. So you go to Pinterest or Google. You write um, desert art ground, whatever. And you start looking. Oh, that looks cool. This looks cool. Mm, very basic. Oh, look, a tile set. Is it a, for a platformer or is it for um, it's isometric? And then what you do is you collect all of these and you create kind of a mood board or whatever you want to call it. Like either use Photoshop, like you have a Photoshop and you just uh, just drag them in. Yeah, platformer. You can even put here pixel art. You can try. Like, don't. It doesn't have to be pixel art if if you're doing it. By the way. But what you can do is just look at as much stuff as possible. Open like Photoshop or something, or whatever. A. Oh look. Yeah. So like any kind of a uh, editor, and then you just start collecting like uh, Arash does. Like you just uh, add them here into the document. Like you. Yeah. Oh fuck. Or drag it into the desktop, whatever you want. Like collect all the art. You have it all. Like oh, I like that one, and I like that one. I don't really like them, but. And then what you do is um. You can use Debian art too. Then my whole uh, Chrome crashes. Drop image here. Do anything. Look. Oh, whatever. Google's. Google's. Uh... Oh, there it was. Now it fixed. So just search and create a collage. Sorry, I'm really doing this badly. Damn it. They're all named the same. That's why it's a problem. Anyway, you just create a collage of all the images you like. Like, maybe you like this one. This is not bad. And then you just uh, have those at the side of your screen. Like, don't... You can, of course, copy if you really want. But what the idea is that you have lots of, like... You can just do desert. And just look at deserts. And you have lots of references. And then you just draw. <laughs> you work, Corgi! That's not allowed. Hey, nice that you came, Corgi. Maybe you can watch this while you work. No, we don't uh, recommend that. Here's a Corgi derp face for you. But yeah, nice for dropping by. Um, nice of you. All right. 
close everything here. Index. Damn it. Bro, it should be adding its own other index in the player in. Hmm. Bye, Corgi. Awesome of you coming by. Um. Hmm. Very interesting that in one case it works. Is it that I can't pass through the index? This works. Head flies off the screen. You no. Know? Here it just uh, is not set before. See whatever it is here. The Rota. Resources level up. Welcome to Level Up, a free online art community for teaching and shard sharding, sharing. Oh, cool. Control pain. Hmm. Oh, you can. You guys should go check it out. Visual library. It seems like a lot of uh, resources. Whatever you need. Oh, cooler is like really nice. For building like color palettes. I haven't used it in a while. You can uh, create color palettes and you can use different kind of... Uh... And then they also have a library of pre-made palettes. So you can, uh, if you don't, if you're making a website or whatever you're making or a game, you can create a color palette. Keep it consistent. Yeah, tutorial aggregator. Exactly. Uh, let's see if we can... Uh... So if I punch him... Nothing. Now when I close Shuriken, it should... <laughs> and it says 1 here. Win, 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 and you're probably player one. Act. Not this part. Let's see what it is when you hit punch. If I go to... Ooh. Where are you? Let's see whatever this index. So index boom. That's also then from the throw. What? No, not throw. Damageable. Back. So we don't have stuff. I know what is turning the ones zeros. Exactly, this is all about sharing and uh, looking at and learning together. So, um, crashes. Oh yeah, I wasn't what I was. Supposed to. Uh, yeah, this is about sharing. We want to really create a community of like different devs. We would be all sharing uh, what we're doing resources and learnings and you know contacts and you know everything oh it's also one in one case it doesn't work in another one it does could it be that those are actually not referring to these variables most probably.
Hmm. So what if we put it here like lol index that doesn't exist anywhere and then lol index? I wonder if this bar would exist here. Very, it doesn't. It doesn't really make sense. Uh, program language doesn't make a lot of time sense. Effective. So long the index is not set. What if you do like this? Damage. Lol index. Maybe the bars are actually persistent about that. Function. Dies and the score goes up. All right, now it works. Very odd. Very, 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 very odd. Like, um, It's like, uh, it, it doesn't, uh, like, vars seems to be persist through the width uh, fun uh, function, but then if you, uh, uh, the object's kind of inherited values aren't. So if I set here the uh, variables that are temporal, that get deleted when it hits the end of the script, then it actually, you don't have to have the other. Oh well, you live and you learn. Now the throwable object is not being deleted. Why? How was it even being deleted before? Let's look at the shuriken. What scripts does it? It has the execute script. It's grounded, rotate. Not grounded and then rotate. Well, it's not really needed because by now I'm supposed to. Create and it's throwable, throwable, and then you have a lot of shit here. This is where version control comes in. Did I delete something from damageable that I didn't want to delete? Two damages here. Damageable. Yeah, here instance destroy. I deleted that, so now it doesn't really in destroy the instance. Just does the damage. Actually, this shouldn't even check this. Right. That is kind of handy that it does. Mm, let's just make something like R. I wonder what, what was in this damageable. This does do damage. Then it would just do this. It's a bit ugly though. I'm trying to think, would I want to do it the other way around? Actually, sorry. It just this needs to do this. If it hits anything, if it's actually colliding with anything, then delete it. So. Instance boy. Ah, oh, Sancho, bye. Um, please, Sancho, uh, if um, please do share some of the art if you're allowed to. If it's not for work or like, it'll be cool to see what you're working on. There you go. And now also, it won't fly forever. I wonder if I now, I would actually just... I wonder if I would reapply. Well, when did we remove the collision? Was it that there were too many of them? We can just despawn them after a certain time too. Uh, let's keep that for now. Uh, so now, what I would like to do is, in it throwable, there's nothing here. Gravity 0 0.4. 
What's the gravity on the character? I think I reduced the gravity. I have a gravity. Um, so when we go to physics, sorry, not physics, throw, I think I'm putting the horizontal speed, uh, the vertical speed. That's by an angle. Pretty cool, actually. There should be a variable. So this takes the angle flip back. Calculates the degrees to flip x, flips it. I think this is the speed. What if you do it 40? You double the speed. Oh, Sancho, you posted something. Oh, that's really cool. Nice. Oh, yeah, these are really nice. Oh, that's a nice night, too. Kind of mixing. Actually, the sword kind of reminds me of the, um, the kind of... Um, What's it called? Uh, the style that the sword, sword and sorcery brothers, what's it called? But then the character is more fleshed out. Um, cool. I like especially this one. Yeah, yeah, hey, you know what? You know how everything works in life. Everything you do now is going to be bad for what you're able to do tomorrow because what you did now. So just because I created this shitty script, I'll be able to create a better script tomorrow. And now it's flying a bit. I'm starting very, very far away from the character. Yeah, maybe it shouldn't. I think this was how far it was. This is the two here. <laughs> Thanks, Sancho. Sancho mode. Yeah, this is better. A bit fast, though. Oh, crap. I killed myself. And I gave the other guy a point. <laughs> Holy shit. It's like going through him. It's too fast. Uh, maybe one is enough. Yeah, exactly. Please share your work. You should create, like, the game dev company thing, like, a wall of all the art you guys are working on. Like, you can just post it and we can just, you know. Yeah, this is more what nicer. Yeah, no. It... <laughs> that leg flew really far. I have that on video. Holy shit. Look at that arm. It's like having a spazzing, uh, spazzing out right there. Boom. Cool. Someone must think I hate, like, guys with a weird beard and a weird hats because I just, I'm always playing as the ninja beating him up. But yeah, we should come up with more original characters at some point. Uh. Oh yeah, and we have also the the, the 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 giant. I should make him have white eyes or something. He doesn't have any eyes right now. I hate that flying though. Oh, I can't get through here. Blah 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 blah. Can't get through. I'm too big. Oh look, I can crawl. 
That looked kind of cool. So when he's falling down, he should look like that. He looked different when he goes up. And then have a different, like, this could be the, how it looks when it goes down. Like, for example, here, when we go down and we just fall through, that looks cool. But when it goes up, Exactly. I want to steal all your, all your art and put it into this game. And uh, look. Oh, you steal all the art. <laughs> no, of course not. And you should put the license if you would post it there. You know, if you would post it online. You should always put a license. And of course, we don't want you to uh, if you don't want to post. That's fine, too. It would be just cool to kind of see, because, you know, we see a lot of art already, like, you guys keep sending, and then it's like, you know, we don't, you know, we of course don't save the art or anything, so, uh, you know, cool. it would be cool to see all the kind of stuff, and then also it would be cool to kind of have a diary, like, you guys been following for a longer time, you could see kind of how your art developed. Yeah. We should actually have some time and talk about giving credit because there's a lot of companies, especially gaming, don't give credit to their team. Like a movie has credits. Uh, everything has credits. Like movies, even hard to make credits versus a game. There's a lot of free to play games and other kinds of games that don't give credit for the, uh, the people who made it. And what happens then is that when you're looking for a job, you have nothing you can put on your CV because you can't really prove you worked on the game. Like, old school games, of course, have it, like AAA, but like, especially mobile games, they don't put credit. It sucks. They should do it. They should be by law forced to do it. You got lost in the catacombs? Is your new house in the catacombs? I'm gonna close the window. You're gonna see a zoomed in version of my face. Then I'm gonna have a drink. Anyway, uh, so uh, let's look. So we have a lot of crap. And remember guys, I post all this code for free, open source, so you guys can steal my code uh, and use it and use the basis to make your own games. Um, that's fine. Oh. Uh, you weren't talking about yourself. You were talking about the giant. Sorry. I'm somewhere else. So, what do we have now, kids? Dads? Kids and parents. Kids and dads. What do we have here? What do we have? We have uh... Oh yeah. So the punching really sucks. I should look at how do we can even look at the, how other games like melee games do it. Like it's not that it's bad. It just doesn't feel good. You know what I mean? The other thing I want to do is I want to actually change how the job works, which would mean. Would like to actually have less control in so when you're not grounded, character is type not element, the rotational speed. Actually, if not grounded. What I would like to do is I'm going to try something. This is going to break the whole thing, but if grounded, not grounded. No wait. Horizontal speed is actually not. It is set here. 
But do we know if you're ground and when? Part of the case. What I want to do is actually kind of have Oh, see you later, Ahi. Uh, welcome back. Please follow if you want to subscribe or whatever. Well, subscribe is, we don't have a subscription, but follow if you like what we're doing. And please, guys, submit your games. If you're like, it doesn't need to be final. Like, this game is not final. You see, on a lot of cool prototypes already. It needs to be playable. As long as it's playable, submit it to us. We won't. Uh, Review it. We will just analyze it. We'll go through like okay. What can you do? You can move left right and then we can of course uh, Give you feedback on the thing that you want to give feedback. So kind of request. What do you want to hear about like if you are having trouble on? You know, I don't you don't know what to do with uh... Oh look he's dying I've introduced new bugs again This needs a Need some work. So, mm, mm, mm. now we get to a bit more difficult part. Let's see. I'm gonna play around a bit with the jump. Right now, it's like you have full control while in the air. Here, if not grounded, then uh, I actually want to have a set horizon. Let's look at, what if you just do horizontal speed is one. Now we should just, uh, oh yeah, yeah, sorry. It's not just for you. So now when I'm in the air, this is the new game um, where you reverse gravity and uh, fly into the wall. Now I have no control while in the air. And that's about what I want. I want to reduce the amount of control. Um, so, I need to save. We jump. Uh, we're old people. Um, jump key pressed. Back, jumping, last touched ground, hit, last touched ground, zero, hit. So let's put here. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Let's go here. Let's try this. I don't know if this is going to work because I can't remember everything that happens and we have too many variables already here. So, uh, last ground speed zero. Here we put it to last ground speed horizontal speed. Maybe it's like we here actually. So always the last ground speed, and then we just do last ground speed, horizontal speed is last ground speed. Let's see if this works. Right now, if I have no jump, when I, if I jump and I have nothing, I can just do this. If I move, I have no control while I'm in the air. Then uh, it bugs out. Of course. You also put last ground speed to zero. Hit something, you lose the momentum. For now, let's see what happens. Now it shouldn't you hop, jump into a wall. It should, shouldn't force you to stay there. And this is not exactly what I want. It's, now I can, for example, jump up there. But I want your initial momentum. 
be a factor. Now, basically, when I jump, um, I can't really control just the rotation. Right? Basically, when I'm in the air, I just control rotation. So again, I think this is the thing, that you have to play the game to actually know it, but uh, for you guys who don't know, when I jump and I press this, like, if I don't do anything, uh, then he just jumps like this. And I'm actually controlling the rotation of the character with the analog stick. So, it's not animation, the rotation. Um, yeah. So now what we do is, last ground speed. So, horizontal speed is last ground speed. Plus horizontal speed comes from joystick, but we will just give it. Actually, what we will do is. Give uh, 0 0.7 this. And we can only have a th one third. So, let's see. Not one third. Basically one. Now I can still do something, but it's very, so if I want to jump. This of course needs balancing. Now I can still jump, but if I'm trying to jump without any momentum, you actually just jump a short distance. Maybe it can be 50-50. It's like half and half. Let's try that. Half and half. That's a milk, right, in the U.S.? Any U.S. people here, what's half and half? Isn't that like half milk, half cream or something? You don't have it here. You just have cream or milk. Yeah, so now I still have some control. Because what I want to do is more air control. Another thing that would be cool is that right now when you hit something, it writes the... Exactly that. Oh, cool. Yeah. We don't have... Ha I only knew because I do some baking. I like to bake. The sensitive side of me, I like to bake. Um, so <laughs> some recipe called out for half and half, and I didn't know what to do. So I just uh, bought milk and cream and then mixed it myself. The other thing we don't have is, like, butter doesn't come in sticks or whatever it's called. What are those called? You guys know what it's like butter it's like recipes call out for like a not a lump of butter it's not a stick what is it called like basically like this well you won't see the size but like my head is it's like a certain size and you just unwrap it and just throw it in the thing here everything is in grams so how many grams the the butter is what is it called stick a stick of butter yeah we don't have a sticks of butter anyway I don't know why we're going to food. Welcome to the food channel. Today we will code you a nice meal. And hey, forgetful Lucy, welcome. Uh, thank you for helping me understand American culture. Um, <laughs> yeah. Only been once to New York. Haven't otherwise been to the US ever. Go there more. It would be cool to, like, Arash and I would like to go to... Um, GDC and PAX East, PAX Prime, or whatever it's called these days. Um, those are really awesome. And Comic-Con. Uh, so, where were we? I think, did I change anything? I think I just had the air thing. That when you're in the air, you only have half control. Oh, and then we... Have the, look, that doesn't look nice. Now that we move the, the level parts, it actually has like a... Holy, holy crap. Um, so, um, let's see, uh, last touch ground. So now you have less control. A bit less control. Now you actually have to like run and then run. Like you have to actually take, you can't just stand still and jump. Like you have to, uh, and we should make it like gradual. Right now he's accelerated instantly. We're gonna make it 
um, have an acceleration. There you go. Arash is in the chats, uh, trolling around again. So, um, uh, Forgetful Lucy, I don't remember if he asked you this, but, uh, and even if he did, what are you working on? Are you working on a game? Are you just following games? Uh, what's up? So, uh, what I want to do, yeah, so now, right now, it's like, that's fine that it kind of autocorrects the character. If, how did I do that? <laughs> Here, rotation speed zero, grounded. So, collision is considered grounded when I hit a character, I guess. Object collidable. What if I make it it's gonna probably bug out everything, but see what happens. So if I go to object character, it's a its parent is object collidable. This is an easy trick to kind of group together colliders. You just wanna have a custom set of colliders. Let's put it to no parent. Now um, other characters are not considered. But then again you won't collide now either characters, right? Nope. You need to collide with other characters. I don't like that you do, but... I don't know. The mysteries of life. Do characters collide? Welcome to the daily struggles of a programmer. Today, we contemplate the physical, philosophical... A question, do characters collide? Um, is it okay for a character to not collide with each other? Can they actually have a physical relationship without colliding? Uh, who's saying I'm just starting out? I'm currently working on a top-down action RPG. This is going slow because I'm learning as I go. Hey, that's exactly what I'm doing even with Game Maker, so... I'm not doing an RPG. Maybe in the future, um, I might uh, try to make an RPG too. Uh, are you using RPG Maker, Unity, Game Maker? What's your um, flavor of what? What are you making it in? We should just call this whole channel like two old men. Like we forget everything. Uh, who are we? Where am I? What was I doing? Where? Where? Oh! And just it would be funny if someday you just we just walk off. It's like we walk off the screen. Like where am I? Oh. Who are these people? There is some text on the screen. I don't know. Um. So yeah, we do definitely need wall jumps. This is too brutal. I think I need to turn down the blood. Uh, so, uh, I don't like that you can stand on each other, but it'd be cool that if you hit each other... Here's the grounded check. So, if... If place is... Meeting object I just poop my pants. Where are my pants? What are our pants? Who are pants? <laughs> oh, cool. You sound like you have really thought it out. The difference to me. 
and I usually plan things out, but I, it's kind of fun being fun to not know what I'm making, uh, you are making. And that's really bad. But yeah, that sounds, is it going to be for mobile? Are you making, it sounds like a very simple game. How far are you? What, uh, what are you working on right now? Oh, yes. And push him into the ground. The hell is this? <laughs> yeah, we've uh, we have uh, used a lot of different engines, mostly Unity, but we we do know some Game Maker, as you can see, we can make very complicated, uh, weird games. Why does he get pushed underground? Interesting. Maybe not. We should make us instead. We shouldn't do it like. Yeah, something like that, Arash. Like where you could, uh, you could kind of body slam him or something. And yeah, the jumping is starting to feel a bit better, but still needs some work. I think it's actually starting to feel much better. Blow out fire. <laughs> For the attack. Uh Let's see here. Uh, maybe if you're on top of him. So if you're on top of a character. Cool. Well, if you want, like what Arash and I do, I don't know if you, have you been here on a Tuesday? So basically what we do is like, if you have a game and you want to have feedback, like, both Arash and I, you know, we've designed games for a long time, even if, right, this game doesn't look like <laughs> anything special. Um, if you want us to analyze the game and give you feedback, or just act as testers, if you want that, you can send us uh, the game. We're still working on setting up a forum where you could just submit the game. And then uh, on Tuesdays, what we do is uh, we play your guys' games and then we kind of analyze them. And it's not a review. Like, we won't be like, oh, the music is shit and they should have done this and that. We, that's not what we do. Is We just look at, like, this was the game now. We would be like, okay, so it's a fighting game. It seems like player versus player. Um, theme is this. And uh, these are the player mechanics. These are the elements of the games. These are the negative and positive feedback loops. Uh, and basically, we just look at the components that you have. And then what we can do is, like, if you have a, have a wish, like, hey, I'm having a problem with the balance, we can try to, like, look, like, what should you do to improve the balance? And they, of course, they're just suggestions, like, it's your game and you can do whatever you want. Uh, like, for example, Mucklock's game we played, and uh, it was really cool. It was actually, they were on to something, like... Uh, I was enjoying it play I played for an hour and I, I don't I could say that I was entertained. That's already, you know, um very amazing. But yeah, it's up to you. Um nothing uh just thing we would like to do is like play you guys games, not just be sitting here and making our own games. Uh, make it uh much more interesting to see what you guys are working on. And then you can look at what we're working on. And if you have any programming problems or want, want help, ask. I don't know, if, like, um, oh, we can try to help you with the, and if you have art problems, then you can ask Arash. 
looks weird. I really should tone down the, the blood. That'll be. All right. Mm, what next? We fixed a lot of bugs today. Washed them. So. No critique, Garage. No critique. You don't do critique. Critique is for IGN. Send it to them. <laughs> um, if... Be cool if... It would be cool if you knew if we're actually hitting a character or something. We don't right now know. I think they're already getting stuck because of a bug. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it, sometimes they get stuck in the wall. If the speed is high enough. Maybe they're not doing that anymore because I reduced the speed. Oh, he almost spawned on in the... They do fidget on the ground though. Critique and review. They're synonyms. Let's Google that. What is it? I'm the, my first language is not English. Swedish. Oh. Well, critique would be actually a quite good word for what they say in the... Yeah. And um, do remember... Um, what we always say with uh, Arash is that there's, it's never too early to test. Like, um, we even have an episode, if you go to YouTube or in the Twitch highlights, we have an episode called uh, Test Your Games or something, Game Testing. And it's never too early to test your games because that way you know if your game is good. Like, this game I'm working already, it's far, like, I should have tested it already. Because every time you test... Basically how you do it is you invite, for example, a couple of friends, someone who you know that, you know, would be, you think, someone who would like to play this game. And then you have them play it and then see what they say. And you're not allowed to interact with them, like not tell them, don't tell them how to play it. Don't tell them, you know, oh, this game is awesome. Of course, if they have technical problems and the game crashes, you can help them. But basically, you're like a view observer. You're like, you know, a spectator in a game. Just watch them play it and you will learn so much about your game and the design. So um, it's a very, very effective technique and it's what actually real game companies use. They uh, test their game, um, if it's a b even with um, smaller games and bigger games, very early they do tests. So don't, don't think, if it's like publishable, then it's already too late because then you've already coded everything. If someone's going to have an issue with something, you won't be, it might be a lot of work to change it, how it works. So, you know, don't wait until it's finished or until, you know, bugs are fine. Everything is fine. You know, um, yeah, let them tell you the rules. Sometimes you actually see some people and you ask them, okay, what do you think this game is? What do you think the rules of this game is? And what they come up with is much more awesome than what you thought it would be. But it's not about them telling you what to do. It's you seeing how they interact with your game. It's like um, watching a kid in play with a ball of yarn. You kind of look at it and you get new ideas on uh, what you want to do with the game and how to make it better. Because in the end, the game is about fun. So if nobody's having fun with your game, you know, it's not a very good game. All right. Um, kind of interesting. I'm trying to think. <clears throat> so, why is... Let's look at the body parts first. Kind of interesting part of it both. 
that's that rotate movement collision physics. Uh, so if we go to the controller. Oh. Let's look at the gamepad. Always set it to that. Wonder why. I wonder why. Like, it'd be cool if I could move the other character. And now I can just move its body parts. I think it doesn't have a... It always said horizontal speed. And it actually is not... The only thing that is setting it is... Uh, vision. And I, now I'm here. I'm actually... Setting it from here. It always will be zero. Horizontal speed movement. That's it. Oh. Look at the character. What is actually making me not be able to push the other character? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Check health, get control, transform character. It's actually start comment. Get movement game pad applies gravity. Not really physics, collision, X. We should make these actually this jump and attacks create a state machine. So uh, collision, why wouldn't, I'm not having a horizontal, I don't have that much white space, why wouldn't it push the character, oh, has the music stopped, like the music stopped, more well, music now, yeah, I can't even hear the music, I don't even know, it's not, So, right now... Yeah, I can't move him. I can if I do this. Hmm. Another thing would be cool that... It would be cool if, if... Now they die too easily, so let's actually go back to them requiring having some bit more HP than one. Let's make them have four HP. Take four hits before you die. Okay, let's see. Now... He's kind of moving back when I hit it. Oh yeah, did I make a, yeah, I did make a reset button. I don't have to restart the game every time. It'd be cool if, if he actually would apply some force to him. Yeah. When we do damage, we actually know the player index. You know the damage. Basic. Yeah, of course. Yeah, visual feedback. We could make it flash red, for example. That would be possible. 
one way would to do that very easily would be in the object can draw GUI. Oh, sorry, not draw GUI. We would add here a add event draw because that's where you change draw. I think there's a tinting. Oh. So um, game maker tint, right? Image blend. Then here you have. I think that's RG. No, HSV. U saturation, something else. Oh, let's just. What we do is in the draw, again, we add a script here. Image blend. We'll make a disco, probably. what it looks like now. Oh. Visible. Oh, of course. Value. Okay, cool. It does say it probably in the documentation. Um, so if I go now and uh, uh, sorry, um, I think like the music stops after one song. Put some up. So, um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, draw sprite. So when if you put something there, it's not stop gonna. It needs to draw itself. Can't remember what the action. Cause you're overriding. Uh, game maker draw bent not it loop Basically, game maker draw okay, let's try draw self first there we go and you doesn't find it I think you have to apply that as last There we go. Except I actually don't want it to be a blend. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. I put this to zero. Basically, this is a uh, image blending. It's not really tinting it. Saturation can be that. Actually, it says here value. Um, let's see, guys. Uh... Hey, got the female. <laughs> this is always red, no matter if it's two five five or not. Anyway, um, let's see. Is there anything that's actually? I mean, the alpha band is almost the same. It is almost the same. Oh. Here we go. Image in image and image alpha. So here we are actually. Game maker. What I want to do is actually that. 
go back to in character. This is now zero. Is Left the parentheses there. Warning us. Got the beaver. There we go. Now they're all black. And the non-racist. Then if it's two five five. Oh. Not that one. Not the debug mode. See now. Now they're red. Saturation zero. They're normal. So it's actually the saturation we want to adjust. So it, it should always want to go back to zero. So what we do here in inner character, we can just do uh, damage color is zero. Then we put here damage color. And after it's done, say if damage color is bigger zero, and we just do damage color to reduce it with one, for example. And what we just do here in the do damage, we say damage color is by five. So we set it to the red. Is not gonna necessarily look good from the first go. It's probably gonna go too fast. Let's see. It depends on your frame rate and stuff like that. Or too slow. Um. Yeah, that was too slow. So minus equals. So minus minus always means it reduces one. So let's make it four times. So this means it now removes four from it for every time it draws it. Now the music is changing. Oh, is it looping? Something's bugging. Damage color is bigger than. Z Not bigger. Put it to zero. Just so it doesn't loop or do anything weird. Move it as long as it's zero. I just make a fast thing here that if it's A little bit slow though. Now it tints it red and then slowly remove, it, but it's a bit too slow. I still do it. If bigger than zero, then minus it. Otherwise, damage color. It still blinks. Oh, it's probably because 255 is not evenly divisible by 4. If damage color is smaller than 0, 
damage. We don't need that else then. Oh. There's more nicer ways of doing it. But this is not too bad. There's always nicer things. That doesn't work. And now he's still too slow, so he... Ten times faster! Yeah. Boom! Also, we could add some blood particles. Every time you hit him, he can spurt blood too. I think there was in the... Where was it that it's actually the death? Check health. You're crazy. Uh, great. The. If I add this. You actually then don't need it here because it's already also going to do it when he dies song again really bad maybe this can look better Now we have some feedback, Arash. Happy, happy, happy with your feedback. Not the most beautiful though. I wonder if we just, it would be nice if, uh... if you actually, now it's just tinting it. It'd be nice if it actually. So what if he flew away? Like when you hit him here, the player in. What we need to do, it'd be nice to know that when you hit something, what direction it hit from? Then it would apply a force and fly away. Now you should jump up. Let's see. Except if it resets it before. And it probably sets it. Vertical speed. Yeah, vertical. Oh, that's that's probably downward. <laughs> it was beating him into the ground. It's always good before you start doing some advanced version. Try out the basic. Yeah, not. it's probably resetting it before. When it does this get controls gamepad, where it's setting it. It's not really taking consideration your previous one. Make it spurt to us again. Shut up, John! You can't do that. It's impossible. It is impossible. That it cannot be done. It is, um, no man can code that kind of. How I would do this. Like, with a physics engine, of course you would. 
wonder if we just do... Because we were talking before also that we want more of a acceleration, but then it should max out also at some. Yeah, this is really cool. Like sometimes when you do weird stuff, like this should this should be in the game where you can you can have a special ability where you're like super fast. Uh, do you know the game World of Warcraft and? Uh, no, uh, for example, Rash has played, uh, done a lot of um, mobile games. I like the blurring of the character. Oh. This is how you play the game. It's imp you have to. No, we haven't worked on World of Warcraft, dude. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh. <laughs> Mostly we just worked on our own games. Um, Arash has worked in several companies. I think from like how many games he worked on Arash? Like series they've been, been published. I've just worked um, on my own games forever. Yeah, here's a good reference. I even worked on some of these games that are here. Yeah, these are not the... Oh, uh, so the dashing is not... now we should max out though so you oh yes I should just bit like weird that the vertical doesn't jump because that doesn't really reset it per that's it Some of them looks cool, not all of them. None of them looks cool. Yeah, there's a lot of people actually in the game industry that have worked on a lot of games, but they never published the game. This is not what I want. Uh, anyway, mm -hmm. I just wanted to try out. Hmm. Let's think. Thinking is sometimes good while making. Not always just rushing ahead and doing weird changes to your game. So we want the movement speed.
want it to be this for correctly. I want it to be Try something. I don't know, this is weird bug in my chat where weird name is. I don't know how to clear it. Blocking half the text. Um start, uh, I started developing last year, autumn, with all learning proton. I was supposed to do it with my friends, they fell off and I continued. Well, that's cool. Um, uh, I started learning by my own self too, like... I didn't um, go to courses, like I did do it, you know, afterwards though. Like I have uh, engineers, like a proper, holy crap. Yeah, uh, a proper degree, but um, the best way to learn, I, I think to do things to learn and it's uh, by yourself and just hack, like that's what I'm doing right now. Um, probably bigger than one anyway. Yeah, playing games and making games is not the same thing. Oh, of course. Two floor, we should do round. Um, no, not round actually either. More of this far temp it is Absolute. You start alien invasion, which became robot now. Oh, that's how it works. Sometimes you uh, pivot, but don't pivot like um. Do pivot 
or pivoting means that you change the direction of the game. So pivoting, so you have a pivot and you change. So you have a new idea and it goes in a new direction because something didn't work out. Making games is really hard work. Not for everybody. Especially if you're trying to do everything. Like, most people, it's much easier to program just in general. What is that good article? Um, what was it called? Uh, let me see. A good article to read is... I can find. Arash, do you know the article with uh, games you like to make, games you would have want to see be made, and games you are good at making? What was that article? It was a really good article. But yeah, you should, um, you shouldn't, you should... A good uh, thing is always to test and then don't don't um, remember that the games you enjoy making are not the same games that you enjoy playing all but I can't find the article maybe Arash knows it where it is there's a good article on uh, on uh, shit, my mouse is bugging out there's a good um, article on uh, how to make games like how to motivation is high it gets higher you don't know what to do Called. Hard to play without the proper. Oh well, maybe we, I'll find it for next time. I can't find it right. But there's a good article that explains how to get your games made, basically, <laughs> like how to motivate yourself and uh, what to think about and what not to worry about. Right? There's a slight acceleration. Anyway, this has actually nothing to do with the it not jumping at what I realized. So do damage vertical Make it crazy. That'll teleport it outside the room. Anyway, let's try to kill him. I don't know why it's minus. Should be minus, by the way. Please forget that. Okay, now it works. Maybe a bit less. What do you think calm is like the hardest thing for you? Or what is the easiest thing? Oh, it doesn't work at all. <laughs> like the gravity is too strong. Yeah, scope is also a very important word. 
should just have it print printed on our screen here. I should improve also on the punch collider. It's annoying the shit out of me. Forty is too much. Art hard code okay. Design easy. Okay. What part of art is the hardest for you? Is it like the coming up with um, an idea for the art or is it the execution? Weird, I thought I already had it minus. Sorry, my phone keeps vibrating. My mouse, mouse pad sucks. Ideas and execute. Well, you should follow Arash when he does uh, uh, his develop like art stuff. Look, it's like not. It's like either it flies or not doesn't fly. That's the real question. I need to get a new mouse, guys. This is pissing me off. Just give me a sec. It helps if. I... Okay, time to buy a new mouse. Oh, sucks. I try. Yeah, so look at Arash. You might, you might get some ideas. But of course, I mean, it's practice. It's practice is the key for that. Just like with anything. It's still too... It's like 20, some kind of magical number where it won't jump with 20, but 25, it's still... Yeah. Also remember that art is not the, the most important thing. Um, it sounds kind of mean, but art actually doesn't... Art is not part of the game, actually. I would argue. Art is not part of a game. You can make a game without art. Like, you would have to have visuals. You could have a game without visuals fully. So, um... I mean, um, don't be too critical on yourself. Make the game awesome. Make it, uh, make it really good to play. Make the gameplay amazing. And then, you know, you can... I'm very sure someone will get inspired and be your artist and help you make it really look awesome. I need to adjust that. Oh. Okay, that... This punching is annoying me, it's like not always hitting. So let's go here. Punch mask, where it is. Oops, I think I changed that. Edit sprite. Edit this to whatever I want. So let's make it a bit bigger. I don't care if it's hitting a bit more than what it's supposed to. Right now. I, that's why I moved to Game Maker from Unity because um, I'm not amazing at art either, but uh, I can, uh, here at least I can do something. Did the world do one pixel? Yeah, it still is too small. Mask. Right. Also, I would like to make this white because white I can actually see if the mask is. Because right now it has this light tint where it. That works. 
Here I can hit him. Bit better. I should also edit the guy, other guys. Even something else. Very weird that the vertical speed like doesn't. Like um, it probably gets reset somehow. Well, let's just have it at 30 for now. And then what we do is uh, we need to know the, what direction the character is where. So um, we don't really know that. Um, Yeah, most people, it's like with music and anything, it, a skill, you can be talented at skill, have a natural inclination for it, but that's just gives you 10% or 1% edge. Um, in the end, um, as any skill, it's practice, practice, practice. So coding is less of a skill, but it's still also, it's practice, practice, practice. And, uh, you know, if you look at pro gamers, uh, you know, they're very even. It's an athlete because it's a skill and the only thing that, you know, differentiates them. There's no one that's like one billion times better than everybody else because of talent. If they are really, really much better, it's because nobody else is practicing. But is, yeah. What is the part of the art that you don't like? What is the part of when making art? What is the... Is it just like the end result or is it like you don't like the colors or is it do you create is it 3d art or pixel art let's just make it 30. <laughs> how it looks Pixel art. Well, have, have you ever tried to copy a lot? Like just sit there and copy a lot of people. I <laughs> like how they jump now. And Very weird. So this, of course, now needs to be times sine of then whatever direction. Or I just calculate it from the positions because you can do that too. Well then, no, you're only pro then uh, just keep on it, dude. You'll you'll get better. You'll get amazing. Practice, practice, practice. Um, game. Uh, your, uh, position. Uh, we already have this. The only thing is, that I need to get the the the. Um, I need to get the, um, the player object. I'm trying to think that should I return it here? You can get it by the index too. I don't want to do that though. When we do throw, Bro, we actually already calculated it. We'll give it here. This gives us the direction of. Uh...
So we should just take this. Make more argument. Stupid, but. We don't sit here and think for too long. So now we need two more uh, variables when we do this, and then um, the x position of this minus probably, I think, uh, argument. Three. And y, not argument three, sorry, plus x, saving it. Oh, he sent something. Oh, not loading for me. Oh, there you go. Need to zoom in again. I gotta zoom it down. Where did it go? Yeah, this is not bad, dude. Really good. I don't think you have a problem with the art. Keep at it. You're better than me, at least. Better than all of us. And also, we should add some of Actually, we should actually, actually, we should actually, actually, actually. Uh, I guess there's no normalize. In the oh, sorry. You didn't make it! No, 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 you should have told me that. Of course you made it. Oh, let's just go with this. This is a bit sucky because what will happen is that the, f the further you are, uh, the more it's gonna hit, basically. Which is not what we want. We don't want the actual position, the effect. We want to normalize it to a directional vector. But I'm feeling lazy today. So now in the throw, not, not in the throw, in the damageable, we need to here pass along also the X and Y of this. Then the same thing here in attack. We need to pass on the X and Y. Not oh, bad. At least flying back. Let's see if it's still. Not oh, right. There he flies, correct? Oh, he doesn't see. It's just uh, not flying to the roof and hitting his head. Two damage plus. I wonder why it just doesn't. Why it doesn't just look at that? Like, I know that the, the value is there. Thirty. Like thirty is the minimum value or something in it for him to even lift off the ground.
Oh, sorry. Minus. But yeah, bit cheaty because dropping too much. I can't even hit him from here. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't know why the vertical speed. The vertical speed, let's go through the whole thing. Like in physics, we do do something. Where are max vertical speed? There's nothing there that should affect it. Also in the get gamepad thing, vertical speed is not even set here. And in uh, attack, oh, attack, what? Uh, mm, vertical speed in collision. Is setting it to zero if that's only if it's hmm hmm guys hmm hard to say at least we've gotten some progress but yeah. If I to throw the shuriken, he does fly up. But if I punch him, it doesn't. Like me being next to him is. F oh. Boom. Okay, now we get to see comp stuff. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, of course you use it as a basis, but now just keep practicing, keep iterating. Try to make this your own. Like you talked about desert. So maybe this is too dark for a desert, maybe. Blue, of course, is more like a... Oh. And then, you know, you could, that way, uh, you can start making this your own. Like if you look at desert pictures, you can actually just um, take a desert picture, the one you like. Let's say you like the colors of this one. And what you can do is you can actually with an eyedropper, you can pick out the colors here, like just a couple, don't pick all the colors, don't try to make gradients and then just use them in your picture. And uh, it'll all instantly look more like a desert. If that's what you're trying to do. Yeah, I think that looks better than the thing you showed earlier. Through your reference. So you're definitely already improving on it. Yeah, this is not working. <laughs> teleport 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 oh oh no <laughs> he died <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> I wanna give up. <laughs> Game making is too hard. Okay. Yeah. Is there a normalize vector? Game maker normalize vector. All right, um, yeah, yep, 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 maybe not, maybe not. Two damage. Risk of rain. That is. A lot of purple and orange. The planet has killed you. All right. Um, let's see. What else can we do still today? I think that he's a bit too fast, so we can turn down the bit. And that's. It. We need to iterate also on the keyboard at some. Yeah, it has a nice art style, definitely. need to work on the jump jumping is one of the most important things especially in a platformer because you're gonna do it so much that uh you really want to kind of polish it and work on it iterate on it change it so i wonder what um happens now they do use global time so let's i want to see what happens I think I even have it still in the. If you look at the movement, it has a speed factor. Oh, time scale. That's what I want to say. Time scale. Global time scale. I wonder if um, we actually go and change that. So go to system. Set up. 
time scale and we actually slow it down. See what we've forgotten to iterate on. Everything seems to be, but sure it can be falling a bit. Which could be, actually. Oh, ouch. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Um, I also think that when you revive, which, where do we actually put that code that revives the character? We don't have any respawn here. Is it in tech health probably? Yeah, here it is. Horizontal speed. Oh. Articles. Also, so you don't um. If you have a really high speed before you die, you don't continue it. Boom. Particles are not falling in slow motion. Damn it. That's the thing we haven't applied the global time scale to. If I just make um, let's look at what the trigger is um, on the game gamepad. So uh, game maker gamepad, and we actually can see the inputs here. So what is the trigger? Shoulder RB. PP shoulder RB. Wasn't it that? Or was I looking wrong? Shoulder RB. PP shoulder. RB. Let's just take it out here. Uh, oh, that's not rounded at all. Okay. This is getting very, very messy. Set it straight to global time scale. So if I press it now, I have enough slows down. Okay. See you, Tom. Good luck at the test. Oh, EP older arm. Cooking class, what are you gonna cook? Okay, you're gonna make uh, pasta bolognese. <laughs> Time stops if you wanna go right. <laughs> what? I didn't do it right, Mr. RB. Make a solid uh, breakfast. Solid breakfast is a glass of water with a vitamin pill. What did I do wrong? Okay, goodbye, dude. See you later. Shoulder RB. It's gonna work now. Let's see. Oh, 
fucking right. Damn it. Don't put anything time skip. Because I'm gonna set up and put this back to one. Now I can work normally. Global. If index is one. It's only for one one of the plays. Doesn't set it separately. It's not shoulder RB. This is not I'm not even pressing it. What the hell? Oh game pam axis value. Probably not an axis. Uh, what is it then? Uh, anchor. press because that's not isn't this is actually an accent Maybe it's this one. Right with this one. It's not an axis. Okay, now it's at least normal. Okay, now it works. What's up, Mr. Knichi? I am slowly falling to my death here. <laughs> the animation speed is not actually affected. Go. Yeah, I think you can't. You you will not be able to do that much. This should be hmm. this is zero to one minus it is zero to one. A BB. <laughs> Sorry, getting tired already. Slowing down slowly. Need the stretch. Oh, okay, let's try this again. So, um, you want to limit it to um, just a certain range. Right now, it's slowing down too much. Basic happen. We have a max. A clamp, sorry. Do you have clamps? Go. Clamp this to a minimum of 0 0.5, maximum of 1. <laughs> Man, I need some dedicated people to go with. <laughs> yeah. Zero point five is uh, uh, too fast. Mm. 
Yeah, coding is fun. When you get into it, it's, uh, you can do whatever you want. That's the fun part of it. See, does this directory change? It does. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's because um, you look at six. This needs to also be. Gravity. Gravity is uh, affected by time. See? No. Yeah, now it has the same. Does not change the arch. Saw Man Need 2 yesterday, gave me a lot of motivation. Jarvis, you wanna call Jarvis? You wanna kill us all? You wanna make the ultimate AI that will uh, ruin the whole world? I think actually this game is getting to where we need to garage play it on Tuesday and see, you know, what makes it fun, what makes it stupid. Because right now, it's hard to say. He wants to destroy humanity. That's what he wants. But yeah, uh, I need to also now actually uh, go here. Like I changed the uh, collider for the ninja, but I didn't change it for the pirate. And that is unfair because he will have a smaller collider. Again, we should just make it white or uh, working. I think I put it white. Okay. Oops. Damn it! Yeah. See that the mask is correct? Yes, it is. And yeah, Arash, we need to play this game. Exactly. I don't know if the jumping, maybe I should polish bit the jumping before we play it, but we can do it live also on Tuesday. Bit tricky. Not like the kind of common uh, way of doing it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if. I think I, I'll give back control of it. Where is it? Uh, look at the jump. Give a bit more control to the jump. I think the 0 50 50 rule is quite nice. <laughs> Did I miss your joke? No? Sorry, I'm just really tired already. Pixel art skills, dang. The score's not working? Uh, let's see if it's working. Come on. It is working. Damn you. Oh, look. Hacks! He's using hacks! Yeah. I think this is semi okay. He's using hacks! No, 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 you're just blind. You're just blind. It only gives you score when you kill someone, so maybe I didn't kill him. But yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this of course now is the power only player one has. This will always be one of the players if I don't get it like if. It's a BB is fooling you, yes. That's what I do, that, that's what I do. Uh, I don't want the clamp. No, wait, I need all that. If time scale is bigger than time button thing, then apply it. Always goes by that. Oh, no, 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 This way, uh, I can't cheat. Where are you gonna move? To Finland? You're welcome here. You can live in Arash's new uh, apartment he just bought. Oh. Now it's gonna be forever slow. Damn it! Where are you gonna move? You can't move. We need you! Will you have internet where you're moving? Are you moving to Africa? <coughs> Qatar? Almost Africa. Holy... Holy Habibi. Yeah, that's basically in the Middle East. Basic. Yeah, I was in Dubai um, 
this uh, New Year's Eve in the burning building. Oh, I wasn't in the burning building. But I did, I was close by. Um, yeah, it's hot in uh, Qatar probably. Hi, butter! Job offer. <laughs> cool. I think the animation speed also. Oh crap! I killed it. Um, what was it? Um. It's a image. We don't put it in setup. We will put it into character. Image. Speed is image speed. No. Where do I put image speed? Let's load it down somewhere. Here. 0 0.2. Image speed should be time global time scale time zero. Domains. Domains. Um, no details, salary, but then, um, salary, but they just told him they want him. Oh, wow, sunscreen. <laughs> Dang it, browse exit, did somebody say anything? Learn about domains, etc. at this vid. Is it a good to Getting a domain. Uh, let's... Uh-uh-uh. No stripping! Not safe for work. Uh, is this good to? Uh, it's hard to say. I have to say, Arash, you have to tell him. Uh, I cannot open it. I can actually open it, but uh, I'll open it uh, for myself only. Usually, Code Babes is quite reliable, even if because usually the women talk about it are just reading from a script. Yeah. Hard to focus on the actual subject matter. Is that how you learn to code? Yeah, I've seen code babes before, of course. What happened here? Code babes ruined my code. Yeah, now the animation also slows down. You can. Okay, what are you talking about? Code with I would say warning before hand I've seen it before. No, don't ruin my fantasies. Yeah, they're just me. Dang it. 
reliable as he stares at chest. Hello. Oh. Uh, one hundred code is not efficient. So be the stream is not R rated. Exactly. We can't show anything. Yeah. The, um, yeah, coding coding babes is a really nice. Uh, nice. Oh. Anyway, uh, yeah, they're reading from a script. Sadly, though, there's there is a, there are a lot of women who know how to code. I don't, I just don't think that they had the time and patience to find and hire them. But I might be wrong. Who knows? Yeah, next time on uh, Tuesday. Shut up. <laughs> What's up, Zena Cruz? Um, next time on Tuesday, or when Arash is here, we'll play this game and see if it's any good. And if you guys send us your games, uh, we will play them too. I kind of want to make it... Um, one last thing I want to do is... In this throw script, no, not throw, damageable. I don't actually want to this instance destroy it. Instead, what I want to do, see, now it shouldn't destroy, so now it should just stick there, right? Oh, we need to add a, enable collision on them first. So shuriken step enable collision detect. Yeah, they're very smart program. If you program enough, you will become like them. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Sorry. I'm having fun with my own game. <laughs> Dangerous shurikens. So if you just walk around and spam them now, you're just gonna... Uh... They should despawn though. Um, so we want to move, uh, let's just copy what we do with, um, actually our character respawner. Actually, we can't. Can we do that? Damageable. So here we just said, uh, respawn, or... Uh, Destroy instance is global dot time plus I think it's, that's very or short time because it's micros. One, two, three, that should be half a second I guess. Maybe we make it longer. Five seconds, and if uh, Obo time is bigger than oh, then we uh, of course. Oh, and this is of course not finished yet. <laughs> That's suicide. Suicide encoding, babes. How about that, Knichi? How do you like that? We should actually send in the init throwable, put it to zero. We just put here. And then. Not zero. 
the cheaty way of doing. Hello, Raffle King. Welcome. We are making a weird platformer for fun. And let's see if they despawn. What is it even checking? Do, 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 do. Actually, this should be plus horizontal speed. Plus verticals. And damageable should be before collision. But it doesn't reset it. Is that safe, Knichi? I'm not too scared to credit your links anymore. Uh uh uh. Brain farted. Hello. Hi, Skype. Who doesn't look weird? Who looks weird? What? Oh. Need you don't suppose to uh, dangerous picks. Or we will have to mute you for uh, 600 years. That is the minimum uh, muting times. <laughs> You're too slow. This is a six-year delay, and uh, you, I still uh... actually want to see if. Ow! 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 <laughs> I really need to remove that script. It's not really working. At least that is working now. Let's see. One, two, three, four. I know what's wrong. It keeps resetting it. So here, actually, we should also check here. We check here if... Uh, again, GD way... Sorry. If it is zero, then we set the time. Otherwise, it'll just keep pushing it forward because basically it keeps colliding with. Arash has a memory of a squirrel. So do I. One, two, three, delete. Now, even if you spam these things. Sorry, I have a dark sense of humor, it seems. Sometimes. Well, welcome, Raffle King. Um, we're uh, developing a game live on stream. I only work on this game while on stream, so that's why the progress is very slow. But we're getting somewhere. We already have our first playable something. Not a really good game, but it's kind of a project to uh, practice Game Maker. Or like not practice, get to know Game Maker. Um, I've programmed more Unity before than Game Maker, so Unity five years, Game Maker now one month. So yeah, not everybody has it. Yep. And Arash is also streaming on the same channel. He does art on Monday, so welcome to that too. Um, and on Tuesdays we do crazy crap. So we are gonna test. We are gonna test this game on uh, Tuesday, and uh, let's see. What was I gonna do? Oh, kind of. This is too powerful, like crazy powerful. That. Bye. Game Maker doesn't only look Windows 97. Windows 97. It looks like Windows 97 that was never made. Yeah. But it's really good for prototypes. We're not like. This is just prototyping game ideas, basically. Like, um, this is not the final game or anything. Or. Um, 
Of course you can do them. A lot of cool games have come uh, from Game Maker though. That's why we use it also because um, if you look at uh, like for example the new um, indie game, what's it called? Uh, I still won't need to play it though. Yo-Yo Games. It doesn't matter what engine looks like. It only matters what the result is. Hyper Light Drifter. You guys seen that? Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, if you have any suggestions where to go with this game or you know You know or if you just need help with making your own game like um, uh, I helped Kniche with some of his stuff, you know uh, Of course if it's like a 600 page novel of programming code uh, I Might look at it after the stream, but if you have any problems with code you can ask me if you have any uh, um, Questions about art you can ask Arash and uh, we love to help you. Is this Java? No, this is not Java. This is a uh, game maker language. So it's this is the um, I can show you guys for the people who haven't seen. So if you go to Yo-Yo Games, this is the engine. For example, Hyperlight Drifter. If you look at showcase, Hyperlight Drifter. Uh, you know, um, Hotline Miami, uh, a lot of games were made, have been made with a Game Maker. It's a very simple game, so if you're new to games, you can quite easily get into it. Um, I don't know, Java is actually a class-based and object-based language. Uh, are you sure you don't mean JavaScript? That's what it mostly reminds me of. It's a scripting language. It's not proper like C sharp or something like that. Ah, oh, you're whispering in the Russia's ear already. Ah, oh, I know what's going on. So yeah, slow motion. Well, now you're embedded in rock. Still too powerful. Let's just remove all that. There's no need of that parenthesis. Yeah, the language is not the best. I mean, if you really want to learn like crazy coding, game maker language, which this is called, is not for you. Go um, learn C sharp or C or even something else then. Um, but if you just want to make a fast game or prototype and you know, coding, the code quality or whatever is not the most important, then Game Maker is really good. You can even do like... Uh... Well, um, yeah, of course, but hey, loops and, uh, loops and uh, statements are almost the same in every language, except Python. Some, well, Python is similar. Like maybe if you go to like COBOL, that's where it starts getting very otherwise. Like loops and uh, loops and uh, statements. This could be any language. <laughs> this could even be C sharp. <laughs> Basically, the C C whole tree of coding language is very similar. But yeah. Um, so yeah, like uh, if you never use this, you can like draw the art right in here and do the animation. So I can add a pixel there or move a pixel here. So it, this is basically, you can make a really polished final game, um, but this is excellent just for prototyping. So if you, you know, maybe this, uh, you just want to throw in some white blocks and some characters jumping around and you want to see if a certain game mechanic works, like would it work with a, platformer with slow motion uh, work then you can just go here throw together some art throw together some code and you instantly have uh... Hey 
y... <risa> X <risa> I really need to remake that jumping though For the elemental um, If I look at the elemental Yeah, it looks like crap see if I can refresh the frame because I'm having a visual bug and he might be on mobile I don't know oh crap now I don't see the chat so your question was that um what makes what's the difference between this and Java well of course this is very similar like most coding languages let's look at like let's look at some coding language C-sharp, let's look at that. Syntax. Or. Yeah. Mr. K, I responded. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Show some more simple. Too much text, damn it. These are the classes. So here you have an if, this is C sharp, right? It looks exactly the same here. So if you do if one is two, then whoop, this is the same. Uh, if we look at uh, Let's look at Java. Let's not close this. Java syntax. So most of the time you can actually copy paste cover between languages. They're not so different. You just have to know the quirks. Let's see here. Java if statement. Uh, let's see here. Mm -mm -mm. So here you have, for example, an if whatever statement or very similar, very similar. Let's look at JavaScript, which is a totally different language, even if they uh, uh, have similar names. So if you, I'm showing you the point that all of these that's why it's so good to just learn one language look it looks totally the same totally the same totally the same that's why it's so good to learn uh, one language because then you can use it all over these i think then there is like let's look at for example cobol if statement there's not even an or additional statement um It's still very similar, but it's also, this code starts looking already much more different. So, I would say that, um, now compare game maker language, uh, code this in Java, you could, you could take all this code and it would work probably in Java. The problem is, uh, uh, that this is, these, for example, this, uh, function, that we have here it only exists in game maker if i copy paste this java this doesn't do anything it doesn't draw anything on the screen game maker does that part for you as a uh, game engine which of the c languages is best to learn i would say learn the thing that you can utilize like what first off it depends on what you want to do what, what do you want, if you're looking at it from a professional point of view, if you want to make games, for example, just C, C++, and C-sharp are good languages to learn. 
Java necessarily isn't a good language to learn. There are not that many Java. Hey, see you later, uh, Knichi. So Java, there's not that many Java-based games. There is some Java-based uh, server uh, programs. But um, but um, I would recommend uh, I would recommend that you know if you want to make games, look into game engines more than the code and learn the game engines. There's Game Maker. There's Unity 3D if you want to do more 3D physics based games. Like this. If you want to make like FPS or something like that or with really high end graphics. Uh, Unreal Engine 4 is free. All of these are free by the way. <sighs> Java is used for almost anything. But, and it's a good language to learn in the beginning because it's very basic. In a way like a lot of things are based on it but these days in schools they teach Java but my pers this is just my personal opinion but I think old schools uh, schools are kind of back 30 years behind the curve or 10 you know, not 30 10 years behind the curve and um, learning Java is good to just learning programming yes but it's not very useful in today's business anymore like if you want to make web software if you want to make backends if you want to make web backends that are super scalable scaling meaning you billions of users and it's only for this uh, then uh, then you could learn Java but if you want to make a web page don't use Java you want to make your game don't use java if you want to make um something that looks nice don't use java that's my recommendation i'm not a god there's exceptions and maybe someone else might have a difference of opinion but um i would definitely of course if you have to learn for school do it don't just go like uh go to say your teacher i'm not gonna learn java that's not used but do know that if you kind of, you need to learn something else in addition. And once you learn Java, of course, it's very easy to learn the other programming languages. So don't, um, don't get frustrated um, on it. Uh, so yeah, we were going through Game Maker, Unity, and then there's Unreal Engine. And uh, Cry Engine also. Unity, I would, I would either recommend you, I have more experience, of course, which of course uh, um, affects my opinion but I would say that Game Maker and Unity are good choices if you really want to become a really good coder Unity ha is a bit better um, what study did you do are you asking me Raffle King what do you mean with study or are you asking nip, nipple fist? Uh, where do you like to write in Unity? Uh, yeah, so in Unity, um, there's tutorials. So, um, already in Unity, if you go to Unity 3D and you press learn, they already have some basic resources. So here's tutorials, go here. And um, in this engine, like here's, for example, rollerbar tutorial, space shooter tutorial. Let's say you want to make a space shooter game, uh, setting up a project, and then you just go through this one, two, three, and it'll show you. It'll show you both, uh, both um, the code and uh, how to do the, the assets. And I think they also give you everything you need. And another good resource in general for uh, coding stuff is Udemy. Uh, not all of it is free though. Unity free tutorial Udemy. Let's see if they have a. Uh, our friend Benjamin um, actually has some tutorials, but they cost. This is also costs money. There are some free tutorials, and you just learn it from there. And uh, 
Another good resource in Udemy site while you're learning is of course their forum. You can always ask there uh, in the community section. You can go to forums or answers and they have good topics. You can go ask here. Or in um, also in the learn you have the, the documentation for the coding line. So if you go here, you can look at different documentation. Scripting API. All right, here you have all the scripting documentation. I wouldn't, of course, browse it like this. You would have to search for something. Do remember to have C sharp selected if you don't want to code in JavaScript. Yeah, you heart beast. Uh, that's for game maker. You're right. But anyway, um, Unity is a good good start. You can do most games in Unity. Yeah, he doesn't do Unity. Yeah, sorry, I brain fart. But uh, yeah, Miss Drafo can ask me. Uh, um, where did I study? So I have a bachelor's degree in media technology, and I have a master's degree in game design and production. Um, I actually started coding. My dad's a coder. He was started back in the fifties or. 60s coding so i'm a second generation coder he had a company run his own company where he did uh all kinds of project management software and stuff like that so i'd always have computers since i was a kid um and uh, when would i have coded my first thing probably when i was like young <laughs> very young seven, eight, nine, ten, around there. Um, and um, I've taken courses in Java, C, C++, assembly, a lot of things, but most of the time I've already known the language when I've taken the course. So um, it's not been as helpful and maybe even a deterrent for me to take the courses. I should probably have paid more attention. Can you show the first thing you coded? The first thing I coded was in basic. Uh, it probably won't even run on anything. It, it was saved on a, probably a floppy disk, which you can't even run. I don't even know if you know what a floppy disk is. Actually, not a floppy disk. What's the one before floppy disk? Not this. Uh... Arash, what's it called in English? I only know the Finnish name. So no, I can't show you it. <laughs> um, what is the bigger? This one. Here. Double density, five and a quarter inch magnetic meat. This is the... Oh, yes. Not this one. This is this. My dad used to use. So no, I can't really show it. Plus, um, yeah, so, um, but, uh, how to say it? Um, but yeah, I would say these are all my opinions about things. I'm not, I don't, I think everybody should form their own opinions and you should try it out, you know? This is just how I work, for example. Sometimes, uh, uh, first thing, Cody, you can show. Dude, trust me, I would have to, even if I could, I have it on drives. It would probably take me hours to search <laughs> through them. It's like a disk. I usually have, like, because I code as it work, so, you know, and I code on my free time. So I code, so basically I'm coding 12 hours a day. Uh, imagine the amount of code that comes out. Uh, <laughs> well, search it, you do it now. I look in your eyes. Yeah, I, it would be cool to find some of the stuff. I don't even remember what else, what everything I've created throughout the years. Um. 
But yeah, uh... But yeah, usually coding is very personal. It's a bit like, you know, someone saying, like, if I say, like, hey, you should do C++, C sharp. Uh, it's a bit like saying uh, to an artist, like, oh, you should draw abstract or you should draw something. It's a bit of a personal choice. You're getting Unity. Oh, yeah. Unity is free. All these game engines, Unity started this whole movement where all game engines are basically free now. So, uh... You should just do it. Um, it's so easy to code these days. Um, there's so much resources. The only thing, just like with art, it just requires some practice. Uh, but uh, hopefully our stream here can help you also motivate. Like, Raffle King, when you have your first thing, I challenge you, when you have something that's playable, you send that to us and we'll uh, usually on Tuesdays, we have something called Two Devs on a Couch, where Arash and I just sit and talk about the game industry, and we talk about games. So, um, if you want to, uh, and then after that, we play you guys' games, and uh, also, of course, uh, real, like, uh, big published games. Like, we played, um, for example, Enter the Gungeon and stuff like that. So, submit your games to us, send it through a message. And uh, we'll play it and we'll, you know, give you critique and give you kind of a... We can break it apart for you and look at the design and uh, help you move it forward. Oh, you can uh, code right now while I'm talking. Good. No, it's kidding. But yeah, Unity is really good. A lot of people are doing Unity right now. Um, Game Maker is also really good, especially if you just want to make something simple. You don't want to go over complex. But yeah, uh, what we have now is a very, very simple game. And now we need to play test it. We should have done it even earlier. Uh, it's a very simple game with a simple score, but it's always a start. You have to start somewhere to get... Now, as always, what we need to do is, I've created all this. So we use version control. So if you don't know what version control is, it's basically uh, a way to make snapshots of games, like different save game files of your uh, code. Yeah, that's a cool idea. I'll write that down. Um, we need to do that next time, like uh, create a random loot drops and maybe power ups. Yeah, that's cool. No, no, no. This is this is uh, exactly what uh, this is about. Like I started this game with no design document, no kind of pre-planned vision. Like we have really weird stuff here. Like you press a button and you can turn into an elemental, and uh, then you can bash things. Uh, you can throw shurikens, you can... Uh... The only thing that I kind of said that it would be a platformer and that um, it will be uh, a PvP. Local for now. No, no, of course, we... There's one thing, of course. All suggestions won't be implemented. And, of course, um, we need to see how it balances the game. But, uh... I, I, this is not, um, this is, I only code this on Thursdays, uh, for you guys, with you guys. And if you go back in the highlights, you have every, from the start till to this version, uh, uh, everything I did live on the stream. So I haven't worked, like instantly I quit the stream, I don't work on this. And you can also download the whole source code. Oh, uh, you have a health bar, it's just underneath the character, which is maybe not so standard. If you didn't see it, it's actually a red bar. We should make it look prettier. I can show it. Just underneath their feet. I should maybe make it above the head. So when I go and hit, right now you have 4 HP. If I hit you, it, it gets... Yeah. That's something we might want to change. Uh, yeah, I use Git, so that's a version control. 
Uh, SVN would be a bit better for bigger files, but there's no big files with Game, game Maker. Yeah, I could make it green. That actually is not that hard to do. Yeah, that's a good idea. So now let's uh, commit stuff. So basically these are, like I said, save game files. Here you can see, I named them by the episode. So every Thursday, so we've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, streams where I've done this game. Um, um, so that's, it's only seven. So, uh, <laughs> this is now the eighth. This is those only eight times I've coded on this game. And here is all the code and all the changes we made to it. And let's stage it all. Made it. Now we have all the files here kind of staged, which means they will go into the repository. We also write, and now let's write what we did here. So let's look at the code a bit. It helps us find uh, feature added feature to slow down time when pressing right bumper. <laughs> Thanks. A bit shaggy here in the signs. <laughs> Still growing. Hopefully it'll thicken up a bit. Uh, then what we did was, in this, today we did, uh, what did we do? We actually uh, improved uh, movement to have slight acceleration. Uh, made jump um, require run up to jump further we added today um there was something we worked on very long i can't remember oh fixed hurricane damage hey dream blocks welcome back we're just committing all the changes we did oh reworked default level It's okay, Dream. Hey, we're, we're here every week. We do this all the time. It's not like uh, we do this uh, never. <laughs> so what else did we do? We, oh, uh, we made a collision mask of attack bigger. Is there a different difficulty between Android app or like Windows for PC? I would say these days, if you use a game engine, it, it really, I would say it, it dates very easy. Maybe uh, Android is like 1% harder because, um, because uh, you have to set up the environment, but Unity, um, it's quite easy to work with all of the, the versions. Like, um, you just choose the platform you want to compile to, like which you want to make the program to, and uh, most of the basic settings to get started are already by default correct. And then you can just change them. So I would argue that it's not... The only thing you have to remember when working on your game, do think about the platform you're going to make it for, because, uh, you know, on an uh, Android phone, you're gonna have a touch screen. On a Xbox, if you wanna make it for that, you're gonna have a controller. Uh, and, uh, yeah. And uh, next Tuesday, we're actually gonna cover uh, games first here in Finland that was run by Supercell. We had even like the innovation director of Lego, Lego was there and all kinds of cool stuff. Um, you can got our own t-shirts with our own names on it. <laughs> um, what else did we add? Oh, we made movement. Made level wrap around when exiting room.
But yeah, I would I would definitely I mean, it used to be that you would have to actually port all your code for every platform. Hurricane. There we go. So now we have all the changes. We're going to commit them. There it goes. And then if we go now to uh, GitHub, so we're committing them to GitHub. You need to uh, do. <laughs> um, so here, if you go to GitHub slash game dev company under let's make a game, you have all the source code that I started with today. And if you press releases, uh, you have all the different versions here. So every episode, if you go to highlights, all the code is here. Lego Rock Riders. <laughs> yeah, that sounds. Lego Rock Riders. Raiders, not Riders. Sorry. Getting tired. Hmm, I haven't played this. We should check it out. So, anyway, um, so you can download it here. It's just a zip packet and then just open Game Maker and use it. Now we're going to draft a new release. This is version 0 0.008. The release title will be... Um, the biggest thing we changed was Polish and... Uh, redesigned level. And then to keep uh, no, so we know everything we did, we can actually copy paste this huge commit we did. Usually you would commit these all separate. Uh, yeah, I haven't played it, dude, Dream. I don't know. Maybe Arash knows it? Arash, you want to play? You didn't even play Minecraft, Arash. Come on. So let's put it here, and then let's say it's a pre-release. It's not, uh, not production ready, so to call. Now you can download all the source codes. If you just go to GitHub, search for game dev company, or just write it there, click let's make a game, you can download the whole, so, whole source code. Would you speak German? No. No, oh, no, no, no. I don't know any German. <laughs> ich, ich spreche keine Deutsch. That's about the level I can do. Then when it becomes like something about chickens, I'm already lost. Yeah, there is a space shooter. So if you go for Unity 3D, just go to their homepage right here. Then you click learn. Okay, you're following learn. You click tutorials. Scroll down. Sorry for the really big. I've zoomed in this, so it will look better on your base shooter tutorial. Now you just click his link. <laughs> I can say more. The problem is because it's like if you know a language, but you never spoke in it, it's very, very, very uh, hard to uh, pronunciate. So, uh, you know, I can say more, but it, you know, and I will understand most of the things you do say, but, uh, you know, the words doesn't come to you fluently. Like English, I've been practicing. It's not my native tongue. It's Swedish or Finnish. So I basically, uh, I guess I'm tri trilingual. Yeah, I can't even see that. So anyway, here you can go through this. You can... Look at the introduction, it's all video based. And you can just uh, follow along. I think they have both, both text and video. Most of it is video, I think it at least has video. Uh, space shooter tutorial unity. I think there was another one that's not Unity's own. 
Oh, and you can also download the whole tutorials uh, code for, and assets from the their apps app store, their asset store. Oh, you can speak Latin. You should just speak Latin because I won't understand you, but it's cool. So if you go to Unity, so let me launch Unity. Inside of Unity. There probably is like a text. See what this is. Uh, seems video is so, so, so normal these days. So I just started a uh, Unity. There's some old game I've been working on or something with lots of crap code. What was this in? It won't even run. Anyway, if you go here to uh, Asset Store. Unity, so I went Window, Asset Store. From here you can also write just Space Tutor. And I will get a crazy... Hell, they changed everything. Why is this showing? Anyway, you can find it here and it's free and it has all the source code and the assets. <laughs> yeah. You hate video, that's why you come to Twitch to listen to me talk. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wonder if there is any kind of... There probably is a text tutorial somewhere. I remember have seeing one, but I think Unity has kind of Well, here's the text version Well, here you have something. I don't know if it's good Uh What was I going to say? What was something else you guys asked? Mm -mm. <laughs> anyway, uh... What else? What else? What else? But yeah, you can download this. You don't have to have version control to download this and then you can run it if you want. And, uh, yeah, this is far, far we got today. And next time we'll, uh, on Tuesday, we'll play this. And on Monday, Arash is going to make his fiction, finish his fictional logo for the game, fictional game called Super Hack, which we should still make or something at some point. Don't know what the game is about, but it sounds cool. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Now, next up, we're gonna go listen to some uh, someone developing a game. So I'm gonna host someone and let's see what, uh... oh, Zine. Neither of us, I think, have used Unreal Engine. That's the engine probably least experienced. But usually the, the, it works very similarly to Unity. It just has, uh, it uses uh, C++ if I remember right, instead of C sharp. And also, uh, and also um, it has Kismet in, uh, as a, wasn't it Kismet? And um, yeah, and you can ask Dream. If you need any help, he might be help, able to help you, give you uh, advice on where to go next. Uh, and of course, if there's any generic programming issues, I might be able to help. I can, I'm really good at Googling, as you guys have noticed. Blueprints, yeah. A bit like the events in Game Maker. But yeah, I would say that if you want to, if you, it's really important to have good shaders, like make it look like, uh, 
like natural like if you have lots of nature and look at natural or make an fps i would make it maybe an unreal because it looks better but uh syntax of c++ in unreal engine is a bit more messy in my opinion because it's c++ c sharp you can make a bit cleaner but doesn't matter but yeah we're gonna follow quasi Quasi is an awesome, he makes his own game, you should buy it if you haven't, it's called Skyhooks. And uh, let's join Quasi, and I'll, I'll still be in the chat, I just have to drink something. So don't go anywhere, if you just want to talk, I will be still in the chat, I'll just stop the stream. And we'll look at Quasi, because he does awesome stuff. And it's already late here, it's like almost 12, so. But hey, thanks for... Uh, joining us and follow if you haven't and I'll still be in the chat and if you have any questions I can still uh, answer them. Oh no, showcase. <laughs> Welcome showcase and ready to leave. <laughs> Sorry guys, showcase. It's awesome that you came and uh, yeah, it's already so late I have to stop. <laughs> I would love to do this all day but or night but I have work tomorrow. <laughs>